know that Real Madrid are going to run away with the La Liga campaign this coming season now that they side Kylian Mbappe, but do they have the best shirt to do it in? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. <laughs> Today, we're ranking each and every one of the home kits over the 2024-2025 La Liga campaign. Who's got the best? Who's got the worst? We'll get into it, all of it, in a second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button. You want to stop shop for La Liga is right here under one Ruski. We're going to take a little look at uh, a whopping 16 kits from La Liga, the home kits, and rank them from best to dog shit. Of course, we'll get into all of that in a minute. Big, big shout out to the VIPs, the other patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you're new, a smash, a, 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 a subscribe, of course. So let's go into it. Big, big shout out to the patrons. You know who you are. Let's jump into the tier list and have a little look what we're talking about. We're talking about this, guys. It is my tier list system where we rank the kits from best of the rest down to dog shit. And at the end of the video, we take the best of the rest and chuck a few up there into the elite column to, to be the best shirts of the upcoming season. And today it's La Liga and it's home. And we're going to jump in with the first one and it's a cracker by these guys who is these guys it is getafe uh, a greenwood lust getafe is better than last season uh techno casa group it's a good looking sponsor very polished uh, and a very good shirt to kick us off with i think that is a best of the rest shirt polished as well and we like that uh, very much so let's take a look at the next one is blue and white stripes chunky stripes my boys sociedad i do like i think i like What's going on up here? Uh, I think I would prefer it to be actually some string where you can tighten up the collar, but it's just a graphic, so it's a bit cheap. Um, Yasuda Group doesn't look like it's not bad. It's it's I I I like the chunkiness and the cleanness of the stripes and a lot of it. It's got a lot going on, but um, these are my boys for Spain. But I'm going to put in the in the decent column. I think they it could be a little bit better. And that that thing here does it was meant to, it did look kind of nice. But if it was actually string, then yes. What about Kylian Mbappe and Co? They're going to be rocking this gear. It is it is a uh, typical Real Madrid white, black trim, Adidas bold. It's it's Real Madrid. It's what it is. Um, anything but a white shirt, and then you're going to kick it, kick your toys out of a pram. But is it the best shirt of the, of the of the competition? Heck no, it's not. It's a decent shirt. They're, they're sticking to tradition. I like tradition. So for me, it stays. It stays put in the decent column. It's nothing more than that. Um, you're going to have to reinvent the wheel a little bit to have the best kit. What about this guy? I think this is Mallorca. Um, we'll see. Coming at you. Right here, right now. There it is. Is that right, Mallorca? Um, by Nike. It is. Uh, it's definitely adventurous. AGL, the sponsor by Taker. Uh, it's definitely in your face, definitely wild. Uh, I'm not too sure about the the change from the black. It's definitely a, a, a polished shirt, and I'd rather have that than the Real Madrid shirt. I'm going to put it in there, best of the rest. We'll decide on it later, just how good it is. Next up, I think we have uh, Bill Bowell coming at you here by Castore, uh, sponsored by Cookster Bank. It's polished, it's clean, it's simple. The logo's good with the outline. They've done it well, and I'm going to give them the, the, the brownie points for doing that and put it in the best of the rest as well. So it's a nice, nice shirt by Bill Bow. Next up, we have these guys. I'm, again, testing my badge knowledge here, and it is, well, it's easy. It's Espanol. It's Espanol. That's right. Chunky Stripes, made by Kelme. I'd love to see Rover's kit made by Kelme. Again, we don't know what the shirt logo is going to be. These arrow markings are not my, not my, I don't know what that's all about, but, um, if you cut that off, if we cut that off, can we cut it off? You know, if, if I'd only seen this bit of the kit, then we'd be laughing. We'd have a we'd have an, a, a cracker one. But those arrows do cheapen it somewhat. So I'm going to put it alongside the other blue and white stripe one. And that is Real Sociedad. So Espanol could have had a home run, but uh, no. Real Betis next with their traditional green and white stripes, uh, sponsored by Forever Green. They've done themselves proud as well with their... With everything, they you know the the logo's good. It's got an outline. It sticks out. It pops out. It's not ugly, uh, and it's bold enough to see. They've also stuck with the traditional badge, which may go off a little bit, but it's got that retro feel to it. I Hommel as well. I like this kit, and it's got um, it's got legs. It's got legs to be a challenger, and I wouldn't 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 be dis disgusted if it was in the elite. I think it's definitely. Definitely up there. So uh, I like that. Villarreal, big bad Bob Burton Diaz might be wearing this next season. He might be on loan. It is Villarreal. It's yellow. It's what they wear. Um, 
it's 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 just kind of like Real Madrid. They do yellow. That's that's all they do. It's bold. Uh, I'm a little bit bored about it now. To be it's a little bit boring. You know, I think they've worn that kind of thing for a while. Here we go, Celta Vigo. I think they might have a hideous looking shirt here. I want to like this Celta Vigo. I do, but what the shit is all this about here? I love that. What was that? Zero percent alcohol beer. I'm not a fan of it, but you know what I mean? I like the logo. Very, very European, very, very old schooly. So the Vigo badge is cool, but this drags that sucker down big time. Uh, and I, I'm not, I'm going to give you a little bit of brownie points. It should probably take a deep dive in the dog shit, um, but I'm going to put you in the meh purely on that collar thing here. Uh, next up, I think this is Valencia. Again, not a big club that should have a real good, good, good shirt. They've tried to be a little bit brave with the gold badges and gold touches here. But again, this picture doesn't give it much justice. I think it's pretty hideous. You're going to go with a long, alongside Celta Vigo in the meh column. Next up, we have another chunky blue and white shirt sponsored by... Uh, it's actually Deportivo Alaves, uh, sponsored by some yeah foreign Asian sort of news. I like it. It's clean. The logo looks good as well. Good mock-up. Puma as well. I'm going to put it up there uh, at the best of the rest. I think it's polished and um, yeah, not too shabby. Uh, who's this one? Sevilla? Sevilla shirt. Trying to, trying to take it all in here. I know it's a white shirt, but is there something else? Is there a hidden message behind there in the in the background? I don't know. I can't really tell from this graphic. It's Castoria. It does look polished. The, the, the colors, the trim look very nice. Red with a little, just a smidgen of white. Uh, it is a simple white shirt. It's a vest. It's a vest, but I like it. It's a best rest. Best vest. And it's going to go up there. Depends on what you're going to stick on the sponsor as well. The sponsor could have a humongous deciding factor on, on what, uh, you know, the shirt is. So, so I, I'm going to consider that as the best of the rest. And when it comes to deciding if it's elite or not, you know, because you could have something horrible on their chest and that could degrade the shirt. But if you leave it plain, it ain't too shabby. Let's take a look at the, one of the heavyweights as well. It's Barcelona. Hansi Flicks, boys, of course. It's this, this centre badge. They, haven't they Spotify as well. Um, you know, half and half shirts. They're, 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 they're a, a quiet taste. Uh, Bl Blab and Robes do it best, of course. Barcelona do it okay. This is nothing spectacular, this shirt, is it? It's a, it's a little bit boring. Um, centre crest as well. Stick it up your ass. Uh, next up, we have a, 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 a shirt that probably looks like a, a, an English shirt, EFL shirt. I kind of like this shirt. I don't know what's going on here, what that is, or what else is going on here. I don't know what all those little touches are, but this is um, Osasuna. Osasuna shirt. Bold, it's simple, uh, and I like it. It's going up. We have, we, have, we have some decisions to make here at the end of this video. Um, moving while we have this cracker, or is it a cracker? I don't think it is a cracker. It's a headache maker. It is uh, Girona, of course, part of the Man City group. Effiad AOAs looks pretty shit on this as well. Not good. Not fan of how they've done that. Does give me a bit of a headache looking at it. Girona will be playing Champions League football and they'll be playing in this shirt, but they'll be looking poop in it and putting them in the dog shit. Sorry, Girona. I wanted you to look good, but um, that gives me a headache. Don't like the FEAD thing on there. What have you. Next up we have, I think this is the final one we've got, and it, it's um, Las Palmas. Is that right? Las Palmas? Ball knowledge. Ball knowledge. Yellow, Gran Torino. It's decent. I like it. It's retro. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing as well. You're going to come up here. So we have a decision to make. We have eight. Four of those will become elite. The rest or Betis elite already. We, we, we talked about that already. We said that. Um... I do like the Sevilla shirt. I do like it. It's very simple, but there's something about it. I also like, I also like Las Palmas. I think it's also pretty polished. Whoa, what's going on here? Get away. Let's clean this up a little bit. We're going to make one more move. Um, I think I'm going to go with Getafe, I think. I think Getafe wins it. Yeah, it's a little bit crazy, a little bit wild, a little bit brash. But it'll do me. So there we have it. Those are my La Liga shirts for the 2024-2025 season. We are missing, I think, four uh, shirts. Let me know who they are down below. Uh, if you get them right, I'll give you a star or something. But anyway, that is it. Subscribe, smash the like. Of course, we'll come back for the away kits very, very soon. But what do you think about those? Good, bad, ugly? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down below. Of course, we'll see you soon. Very, very soon. But until then, we are done.